let's explore the world of freshwater jellyfish. This is a very unusual type of jellyfish that lives in fresh water. When we scoop it up with a spoon and look at it under a microscope, we'll discover something truly surprising. Science. Following a friend's directions, we went to a spot where freshwater jellyfish can be found. And sure enough, we were able to spot them right away. Can you see them here? It's hard to capture clearly on camera, but if we zoom in, these tiny dots are the freshwater jellyfish. When we place the camera underwater, they really do look just like jellyfish. My friend carefully caught them one by one for the viewers of Fishy Science. Holding one of the jellyfish he caught, we rushed straight to the lab. Ta-da! This is the freshwater jellyfish. Surprisingly, freshwater jellyfish, scientifically known as Craspidacusta sourbii, are not true jellyfish in the biological sense. They belong to the class Hydrozoa of the phylum Cnidaria, while the common jellyfish known as Aurelia aurita or Nemopilema nomurai belong to a different class called Scyphozoa. Within Hydrozoa, species that take on a jellyfish-like form are called Hydromedusae. Compared to true jellyfish, Hydromedusae are smaller, have thinner, more delicate bell tissue, and feature a special membrane on the underside called the vellum. The vellum helps push out water faster when the bell contracts, allowing them to swim more efficiently. This vellum is a characteristic unique to Hydromedusae, so scientists can distinguish them from true jellyfish by this structure. Amazing, right? To take a closer look at freshwater jellyfish, we scooped one up with a spoon and observed it under a microscope. But since it kept moving around, it was hard to see clearly. So we gently held it with tweezers to keep it still for observation. Looking closely, you can see thin tentacles around the outer edge and four larger ones called oral arms in the center. The jellyfish uses its outer tentacles to catch prey like water fleas and zooplankton, then moves the food to its mouth using the oral arms. Food is digested inside the gastrovacular cavity and nutrients spread throughout the body via the radial and circular canals. Fascinating, isn't it? Along the radial canals, you can also see four fluttering structures. These are the gonads, or reproductive organs. In fact, the freshwater jellyfish doesn't stay in jellyfish form all the time. It spends most of its life as a polyp. When the water temperature rises in summer, polyps produce medusae, which swim freely near the water's surface. This is where sexual reproduction occurs. So the jellyfish form you're seeing now is actually a temporary stage specialized for reproduction. The released sperm and eggs meet in the water, fertilize, and develop into tiny swimming larvae called planulae. These larvae eventually settle on the bottom and grow into new polyps. Incredible, isn't it? During cold winter months, the polyps contract and form cysts, entering a dormant state. In this form, they pause all activity and survive harsh conditions like drought and freezing weather. When the environment improves, the cysts awaken and return to the polyp form, ready to live on again. Isn't that amazing? That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, revealing the mysteries of the strange and fascinating through science.